Have you heard the expression, a pregnant pause? Hmm, neither pregnancy nor a pause are without a cause. Let's talk about that today. I'm Mary Alice with Life Lessons for the Heart. Now, late last fall, the Lord asked me to start a new focus for Life Lessons for the Heart. And you know it has been live your spirit realm reality. Now, come on. We know that's not a light subject. And during that time, his, for you, he wanted me to lay the groundwork, a solid foundation and distinguishing spirit from soul. Soul, just our natural man. Sight, sound, taste, push our body around, soul. But spirit is unto a God-lived life. Spirit-lived life. Now, he's indicating to me a pause. And for me, in this pause, I'm expecting a shift. In fact, it's already begun. I want to share something in this light, what happened to me in the early 80s. A prophetess looked at me and said, God's doing a new thing in you, but you're going to have to screw your head off to get it and walk it out in the spirit. Now, my conclusion is, that's the only way you get it. You see, the life I have known with him is, well, I sit with him just to be with him. And he talks a lot. That's all I've ever known, really. But in the last five months, because he had you in mind, I've listened to teach. I've heard then to convert that to a lesson. So in this pause, I suspect he's up to something new and desires my focus to be more between he and me. And I want him to complete whatever he's up to. Then I'll see what he has to say to you. Today, I want you to leave you with two things. Number one, you've heard me say numerous times, learn to quiet your mind. So I hope you will set your intention on developing that skill. Or should I say developing that still? And the second thing, I want to whet your appetite for a deeper, truer walk in the spirit with him. I'm going to use the very natural example. Someone you've heard of, the disciple who became the apostle, that's John. Now, he walked with Jesus in the flesh, touched. He knew him in the flesh. But after the resurrection... He waited somewhere between 50 and 80 years before he wrote anything for you and I. He had, during that interim, he had walked with Christ in the spirit all those many years. Boy, that makes me think of what Isaiah said in chapter 54, verse 13, all your children will be taught of the Lord. John didn't have a teacher except Holy Spirit. Now, wouldn't that be a wonderful legacy, d desirable for you and me? He holds that out for us today and I'm going for it 
How about you?